Um, the owner of Country Dogs Daycare and Retail Shop would like to speak with the select board relative to the impact the proposed development of 500 Main Street will have on her business. Um, to be clear, um, did you get my email? Uh, I just got it. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, not a great first step, but um, we're going to, please sit down. Um, we're, uh, um, I'm doing this out of courtesy for Mr. Duvall, who I'm going to let speak first. Um, this is going to stick to the facts. Um, if it gets off, off kilter at all, we're just going to stop the discussion. I'm still not sure what uh, jurisdiction or uh, leverage or authority we have in this. Yeah, but I'm we just willing... want to make sure you're aware of what's going on. Sure. I've got Ed, some... Ed's going to go first. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to give everyone a little bit of background. Um, I'm a little bit familiar with the situation. So um, this is to do with 500 Main Street and the new ownership. So I first came in contact with the new owners um, of 500 Main Street, the Cunninghams, a few months ago. I overheard they had an important deadline. Coming up, they're having difficulty getting an old mill house exemption approved by the Conservation Commission. So I had a chance to, um, to, to attend those meetings and on behalf of them, I requested that the Conservation Commission meet an extra couple times because they had a deadline pending. The Conservation Commission, to their credit, they agreed, made some progress, deadline was met. I was happy that I could help out. Um, was shortly after that, I started fielding complaints though from some of the tenants at 500 Main Street who claimed that Cunninghams were not honoring their leases and that the tenants were preparing to go to court. Um, so the short story of this is that the, the tenants originally had no leases under the previous owner. It was just simply, a, I think they call it the tenancy at will. Um, however, in order to facilitate the financing for the purchase, the, the Cunninghams themselves requested that the tenants get leases um, to which the Coleman's, the previous owners, agreed. So Triple Play and Neshoba Dance were given two-year leases. Country Dog Daycare was given a one-year lease. However, unfortunately, shortly after the building was sold, um, the message that the tenants were receiving was that the leases were no longer valid and they had to start moving their businesses out. And the, the businesses kind of pushed back a little bit and said that they had leases and then the, as you'll hear from some of the tenants speaking, then the, the, there was some escalation steps. Uh, services that were normally provided to the businesses, like trash removal and snow removal, um, were now removed. Rents tried to go up, square footage tried to be uh, minimized. So there was this a lot of back and forth. So before this ended up in court, I just wanted to take a shot, seeing because I had a kind of pre existing relationship with the Cunninghams. I asked if I could talk to try to see if I could work something out. Um, so we met a few times and we, we tried. We tried to see if we could meet something. Ultimately, uh, we, were, we were not able to. But the, the takeaway I got though from talking to a lot of different people involved in this transaction is that everyone says that the new owners were very much aware of the leases when they took over the property. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, just hold on one second. What do you need? Well, my name is John Why is this being held at the website? I'm, this is a I'm, private business. Let me speak, please. This is a private. He doesn't have to speak. Please. I, I, listen. He's somebody just hold on one second. And just hold on talking. one second. I'm giving him two minutes to speak. Again, I'm not sure why we're talking about this. Please get to your point. That's my point, sir. Please okay, get to your well, point. What do you need stop to stop interrupting me? Please I'll get to not talk to me. Get just get to your point, please. What what do you need the board to do? Okay. In a last ditch effort to avoid going to court. What do you need the board to do? Can you let me finish my statement? Please? Again, I just don't. There's I'm no way to defend finish. them. Like this, we have no authority here. I'm not. So let me just get to the to the, the last part. Of this. Obviously, we have no legal authority to do anything here. But a project like this is going to need the town's cooperation to get it done. Our opinion about the business practices of a new building owner, the way they treat their tenants, it should matter. Final board, Mr. Chairman. He's please, right please, let me handle this. He really is. Let me handle this. Mr. Cunningham is not. Let me handle this. Vancouver. You're out of line. Vancouver. Do you want to stay here or not? I want you to see Kick him out. You're going to have to go if you keep your mouth shut. Please. There's a point of order here. No, I'm talking. Please wrap it up. All right. Just, is there a motion? So, uh, all I'm saying is, we can't prevent any project that's going in on down there, but we certainly don't have to bend over backwards to help these people if they're going to be treating tenants the way that they're treating them. Okay, that's all. And I, I hope that the board will just listen to some of this testimony here, some of these people and their complaints. And if the board feels 
like it's appropriate, we can write a letter to the Cunninghams asking them to honor the original leases. Uh, I'm not sure I feel comfortable hearing complaints without someone here to, to defend themselves. They, Again, we have nothing. We're not. There's nothing for us to hold. What are we talking about here? I, I, I'll give you two minutes. Go ahead. Name and address, please. Uh, Karen Newsham, yep. 500 Main Street, um, owner of Country Dogs. Um, I, I feel like we, we had, they ran around and had us sign all these leases, and then all of a sudden they were taking services away from us. I went to, have my cleaners went to throw away the trash, and they lock, put a lock on it, and just just petty little things. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't hear um, petty. We're going to have to do this I just, when they're I'm back. I'm looking for some okay. support. I, I'm really sorry. Can no. I just say one no. thing? No, no. She's on the agenda. I asked her to we write were all me back. supposed to be on the agenda. Yeah, you were supposed, supposed to, be to be, but she didn't write me back. I asked why you want to be here. I asked. No, I, I said the triple play and to the Shoba dance. I, I sent it to Phil and Mike. Okay, I'm and sorry. And they said confirm that you're all you're all on there. Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry. Just, I didn't get that part. I set the agenda. So again, I, I feel very uncomfortable having this without someone here from the other side. Especially, I, I just don't know where we're supposed to They're be. They're welcome to. They, we. I told, they knew that this day that we were meeting this day. And I told them that I would normally move it, but this is the last day before an election. I don't know if I'm going to be a selectman at the next meeting. I so I have, to, I have to like have these voices concerned now while I'm still a selectman. Because apparently, I, I guess I'm the only one that like cares about a small business that's getting like run out of their building. But they're not getting run out of the building. Someone else bought the building. And, and they're not honoring the leases. The businesses don't know any difference. that's for the difference. court to handle. I, they, even if they weren't, I have nothing to do with lease disputes. Sean, we're allowed to have an opinion. Like this, this is America. Like we can like have an opinion about something, and we have people, uh, small businesses in our community, complaining to us about something. We should at least give them an opportunity. It's not going to hurt anybody to let them say their side of it. And if the Cunninghams want to come back, they couldn't make this meeting. They can come back to the next meeting, and they can state state their side. Of it. You know, we're going to be doing business with these people. Some of these boards that are going to be approving some of the things that they're going to be requesting, they should know. I mean, we have an obligation to make sure that. Some of the people that are coming into this town are conducting business in a reasonable manner, are being fair to businesses, and I don't think that they're being fair. And I didn't go into this with the, I, I like the Cunninghams, I helped them out with the Conservation Commission. You know, like I didn't go into this like saying that I had a problem with them. I went into this with a very open mind. This is not right, what's happening is not right. Mr. Hogan, Wait, please address me. There were times, most of you know I was moderating 33 years. There were times, for the town meeting that I defer and stop, stop discussion on and defer them to the select or the school committee or the planning board or whatever board I thought was appropriate. This is one of those times where you've got a private business owner and three private businesses who are objecting, um, who are having a, dis having a disagreement over a lease. And it's, it's not something that should be discussed at the selectman's level in any regard. And especially with one of the selectmen maligning with Mr. Cunningham and saying things that are just not true. So I would ask that this discussion end before it gets out of hand and lawsuits are brought up because of what's being brought up here. One of your selectmen, and I mean well who it is, has said things tonight in front of me that I know are factually incorrect. And he doesn't know the whole story. I could get into it, but it doesn't belong here, and I'm not going to. And I think that's, I've asked you as chairman to just knock this because the, the, the selectmen have no jurisdiction over this. And this is just ranting and raving, and I, I don't think it's appropriate. Sir. Thank you. Matt? So <coughs> we had individuals who emailed Mr. Ward to be put on this agenda that you're not allowing to speak. I this said individual it. comes walking in here and begins right. speaking out of place. So I'm not sure what your connection to... 55, you know, 555 Main Street is. I was the real estate broker. Okay. But as far as now, you don't really have any involvement with that property, or the Cunninghams. Is that has that transaction? That's not entirely true. Okay, so I'm not sure the capacity in which this individual can speak on this. These people were on the agenda. If you either get a chance to speak, I'll give Karen two more minutes. Uh, we have a bunch of emails that we can share with you. On the record. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to speak? Mr. Chair. She has the floor. Okay. Uh, would you be open to having us share the emails with you? Yeah, we'll put the, enter those in the record. Okay. Okay. 
We have all these people that are here in support of our business, that our clients that use our businesses, and we, we provide services to so many people in town. Um, we just want your support, basically. We don't, you know, this is our livelihood. I employ people, and they employ people, and it's, I think it's important. The small business is what the town is built on. Do you have a lease with them? My lease, yes, okay. I have a lease. And they're not honoring that? My lease is over soon. But okay. they, however, have been told that they don't have leases, which Do is they not- Do have leases or not? Which yes. is not right. Okay. And they said they were gonna put locks Do on the door. Do they have leases or not? Yes. Okay. Yes. Then you should be all set. But right. they're being threatened. They're okay, saying then that that's gonna... something for your lawyers to take up with right. the department. Right, correct. I'm just looking for your support, that's okay. all. Okay, well, I don't know anything about this. I would have a lawyer and have them contact the property owner. If you have a lease, yeah. I'm not a lawyer here either, but it seems like that's something for you, the housing court yeah. or for the lawyers to sort out over lease terms. I think we're already at that stage, but okay. we're just looking for your support, that's all. For a small yeah. small businesses in town that, that help a lot of families, so. I would say if you have a lease, you should be in good shape. I would think so Again, too. I'm not a lawyer, but. Um, yeah. Okay. Anything else? Just, just, I did request for all three businesses to get a chance. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why this is only why Karen is the only one that's like being because allowed I asked, to speak. Yeah. That was the only one who contacted Phil. Is Mike? I Mike personally. Go ahead. I'll give you two minutes and you two minutes. If you're just going to say the same thing, again, if you have a lease, get a lawyer and you should be fine. This board cannot help you. Just so you know. Go ahead. Go ahead, please, sir. Right, Take your name and address. Right. Um, again, if it gets, please. No, all I was going to say is the emails, you see the emails, that's, you'll understand when you say that. That's, uh -huh. all, that's all I'm going to say. Sure. Um, we just want them to honor our lease. That's all, and, and that'll be between us and the Cunninghams. And I've tried to speak with them, and um, yeah, it's not, not getting anywhere. So. Okay. Ashley Driscoll, Neshoba Valley Movement, 500 Main Street. Um, we have attorneys at this point. I think the reason why we wanted to bring it to light today here with you guys is because, like Ed said, you're going to be working with them a lot throughout this project. And I think we all want the project to go through. We think it's going to be good for the town, but we think it's important for you to know how they behave with other people in Clinton, other business owners. And from what, okay, I'll keep it to the facts, but I just want to put that out there so that you guys understand as part of the people that represent the town and work for the town, I think it's important for you to have an interest in small businesses that serve many taxpaying residents in mm -hmm. Clinton. So if you would be open to reviewing emails if we send them to you, which are from both sides, so there's no lying here, it's just clearly written emails, I think that would be very appreciated. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And just for the record, as far as us supporting small businesses, this board, uh, in my time, has reduced the tax split, I think, from uh, probably 15 points to make um, the broken tax split uh, fairer to business owners. So, um, I don't well, there have might not be any businesses left. Right, there might not be any left. Great. Thanks for coming. Any deep next to you? you? Excuse me? Uh, yep, if you just put it on the table, Michael, yeah. Next up, Phil, thank you for coming. Uh, Phil Duffy, Community and Economic Development Director, uh, has...